watching Field Days. So today's video, I'm going to be doing the Disney tag, as suggested by my cousin Brianna, since everyone knows I'm a huge Disney fan. So I went online and I found some questions, and I'm going to answer them for you all. My favorite Disney film. Everyone knows my favorite film is Beauty and the Beast. I love Beauty and the Beast because it's not your original just guy and girl get together, girl does any sin for love. I feel like Belle's independent, Belle stood up for what she believed in. She didn't go looking for love, love found her. Also growing up, I was a brunette and all the guys seemed to like all the blondes and blondes had more fun and all those old sayings. But nothing against blondes, but I felt connected to Belle because she had brown hair, she had brown eyes, even though they say hazel, but they're brown in the movie. And she was a bookworm. I was a huge bookworm. I would be still if I didn't have ADHD and I could continue to focus on reading. But she was a huge bookworm and I could relate to her. She wasn't just, no offense to Ariel fans, I do love Little Mermaid. She wasn't just selling her voice for love and stuff like that. She wanted to save her father's life. And she was strong, she was independent, and I really like her. My favorite character slash princess, obviously, is Belle. And then my favorite character is Chip from Beauty and the Beast because I think he's adorable. He's super cute. I love when he says, want to see me do a trick? And then like he little bubbles up. I think it's absolutely adorable. And then my favorite sidekick would be Mushu. I love Mushu. He's sassy. He's hilarious. I love when he's like, this honor on you, this honor on your cow. It's, it's great. And I would love to have Mushu come around on my adventures. Sorry, this keeps like falling off my head. And then my favorite song is Part of Your World or How Far I'll Go. I love those two songs. I love just belting them out at the top of my lungs. I can't sing. I sound like a dying cat, but it's a lot of fun to do. If I had a Disney character as a best friend, it would probably be Rapunzel. She's quirky, she's, you know, like fun, she likes adventure, she carries around a fine pan as defense. I just love her personality and I think she's so down to earth and she would be really great to hang out with and be around. If I had a Disney pet, it would probably be Stitch, if you can consider him a pet. Since technically they did say he was a dog, but he's not, he's an alien. But I think Stitch would be fun because he can talk to you, he'll be hyper, and I love Stitch. But if not, I'd probably have Marie since she's a sassy little cat and <laughs> she's all girly and she's really cool. She's one of my favorites too. The Disneyland's I've been to, I went to Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. That was really cool to see Disney in different cultures and go on the rides. I'll probably make a video for that in the future about my experience there and what each day was like and the different types of rides and stuff that you got to see. I went to Disney World before and I'm going again in May. So look forward to videos then. I'm super excited. I can't wait. I'm going with my in-laws and they're great people and it's going to be a lot of fun. And then the Disney alter ego. My alter ego as Disney characters would probably be Belle, of course, mixed with Rapunzel and then mixed with a little bit of Daisy because Daisy's a little sassy. Also Anna from Frozen. I am kind of like her. Not in the like want to get married to a man I just met. But her little quirks and aneurysms, how she likes chocolate, how she sleeps in. She's just really down to earth and quirky and stuff like I am. I know I say quirky a lot. <laughs> My favorite villain is Maleficent. I love her just because 
she didn't get invited to a party. So she decided to cause havoc and that's just great. <laughs> just because she didn't get invited. <laughs> she is amazing and then I love what they did with her in the live action movies and the story they told there. I think was really cool to show like why she didn't get invited to the party, what hurt her and everything like that. I think Angelina Jolene did a really good job portraying Maleficent and I really enjoyed those movies. I also enjoyed the dragon Maleficent. I just think it's really cool. Sleeping Beauty may be a boring movie, but that part is really awesome. Do I collect anything Disney? I collect pins and in a future video I will show off my pin collection because it's not just Disney and those are so much fun to collect. I got some of them from Etsy, well I got all my pins from Etsy, but I'm hoping to get a couple from Disney World when we go. What do I love about Disney? I love that Disney makes you feel nostalgic. I love the magic, the happiness. I love how you can just pop in a Disney movie and no matter what mood you're in, it just brightens up your day. I love the emotions, the songs. It brings people from all ages, all race, races, all cultures together. And I just love the connection you feel. Like you can talk to anyone about Disney and they like at least some form of Disney. Even if they only like one movie, they still enjoy it and it's still something you can talk to them about. Um, favorite prince. My favorite prince, of course, is Flynn Rider. I love him. He is just great. He's really down to earth. He is a character that is real. He isn't... No offense to all the old Disney princes. He's not just prim and proper, I'm a prince. He's really himself. He sits there and says you shouldn't trust him at first because he was a criminal. Criminal. Ah. He's just a person that you can relate to. And he's really hot for a Disney character. <laughs> Favorite couple would be Minnie and Mickey, of course. I love them, if you can't tell. <laughs> I think it's so cute, all their shorts and videos they have together. I especially love the one where he gives up his harmonica for her and she gives up her watch for him. And I just think it's super, super cute. I also love Rapunzel and Finn because I love their story and I love their like, relationship how they joke with each other how they just have fun and their relationship has a lot of depth to it my favorite disney kiss is lady and the tramp i love the little spaghetti and the meatball and how they just go choop and they come together i think it's super adorable i also like in aladdin how the magic carpet pushed him and was like kiss her already kind of just shoved him towards jasmine didn't actually say it but i think that's cute my favorite outfit is elsa's from the first movie the ice outfit or i like belle's pink dress in the something there that wasn't there before scene where they're playing in the snow i really like that pink outfit and then my favorite sequel is Lion King 2 Simba's Pride. I love the story of Nala, his daughter. Wait, no, Nala is Simba's wife. I love the story of his daughter Kiara and, sorry, I love her journey. I love that she's kind of Romeo and Juliet with the line from the wrong side of the tracks. Caillou, I believe his name is. I haven't seen it in so long, but... I really like that for a Disney sequel. A lot of Disney sequels aren't the greatest compared to the original, but that one was good. And then if you're talking about newer sequels, I love Frozen 2. Frozen 2 is amazing. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, you really should check it out. My favorite soundtrack is Tarzan. I love Tarzan. 
Phil Collins did amazing. Every song just fits the scene. It's just good to jam out to even if you're not watching the movie. All the songs just like hit perfectly and they're so catchy. Tarzan has hands down the best Disney soundtrack. My favorite ride at Disney would be Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. I love thrill rides, so I love how you just zoom off right away. I also love Space Mountain. Space Mountain is in the dark and it's a thrill ride as well. I really, really adore that one. I also had to have the little Space Mountain Minnie Mouse, the stuffed animal, from the Minnie Mouse main attraction that they're doing at ChapDisney.com. You can get a new Minnie Mouse ears, plush, backpack, pins, or a cup. One for each month. Sorry, this is not a plug. It's just, it was really cute, and I definitely had to get the one from the Space Mountain for January. My favorite Pixar movie is Coco. I love that because I love the storyline. I love how it shows that culture really well. I love the emotions, the songs. I love the twist in it. It's just a really good movie and it's not your typical prince and princess fall in love story. And it's, it's just great. My least favorite Disney or Pixar movie, sorry everyone, but I don't really like Toy Story. I just can't get into it. I've watched it. It's not interesting. I haven't seen the fourth one yet because I don't know why they keep making them. It's just, it's like beating a dead horse at this point. And I'm just, I'm over it. I really am. My favorite original Disney character, as in like Minnie, Mickey, Donald, Goofy, all of them, would be Minnie Mouse. Of course. I love her. She's sassy. She's cute. She's small. Everyone used to call me Minnie Mouse because I was short. I have a squeaky voice. My best friend Lona still calls me Mouse. That's her name for me. So if you're watching this, I love you, Lona. And my varsity jacket even says Minnie Mouse on it. So that's why I like her because I connect to her and I used to hate my voice, but now I just kind of take pride in it. My favorite quote from Alson's Disney would be, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. That's from Winnie the Pooh. And I like that because it shows you that even on your hardest days, you are worth more than you believe. You tend to be your worst critic and you get down on yourself and you have to remember that you are a lot better than you think you are. That you are strong, you are brave, you are smart. And it really relates to me on a personal level. My favorite villain song is Be Prepared. I know technically it's about killing Mufasa and I don't like that. Mufasa's death is the saddest Disney death. It really, really hit home for me because I'm a big daddy's girl and seeing Simba cry over Mufasa's body, it just, it's tear jerking every time you watch it. But I... Like that song just because I like the beat. Scar's voice is amazing and it's really catchy. And then, if a Disney villain was my friend, I would say I would want Hades as my friend because he's sassy, he's hilarious, and I think he would just tell it like it is and give the best advice. If you like this video, I will probably maybe do a Disney Channel version for like. High School Musical, Cheetah Girls, all that. So feel free to give it a like and suggest if I should do that. If you like this video, like and subscribe down below. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. And always remember, never tickle a sleeping dragon. Peace!